Hey, what's up guys? So if you are using email marketing in your online business or affiliate marketing business, whatever that may be, stick around, watch this video because I'm going to show you exactly how you can land in the inbox every single time you send out a live broadcast or an email. So this is, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to hit that little subscribe button below and also hit that little bell icon so you get notified each and every time when I post the video. And if you've been on the channel for quite a while, you might notice two little things that are different. First is my snazzy new uh, chair, which uh, is quite comfortable. And also that I might end up having hair like Lloyd off the movie from Dumb and Dumber. Or if this lockdown continues, I will end up like Bob Marley. Who knows? Let's hope this lockdown finishes soon. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you get notified each and every time I post a video. Now, I've been in the online space since about 2018. And anyone who's anyone who tells you when you first get started, they'll always say to you that the money's in the list. So it's a great idea to go ahead and build your email list because that's yours and yours for life. It's not held on any social platforms. So if any social platforms uh, decide that they want to stop stop working for any reason, then you've always got your email list that you can make money. And uh, a term that we always hear in the online space is that the money is in the list. But the money is not actually in the list. The money is actually in the relationship with the list. But how frustrating is it when you're sending out email broadcasts and email newsletters every other day or every other week, whatever it may be for you, and you're not, you're always landing in that <laughs> junk and promotions folder. I know, I've been there. So I've uh, come up uh, with my experience. I've come up with a few hacks and learned a few tricks that I'm going to share with you. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I've got an even extra little hack that's going to help you stay out of that promotions folder so you can get into the inbox each and every time. So if you're watching this video and you think I'm going to take you through the usual standard stuff like checking your spam score and doing a test on Aweber to make sure that it lands in the inbox, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to jump in the computer here and I'm going to show you exactly a little trick around that and why those two things don't work. So stick around because I'm just about to show you right now. So let's dive straight in. So obviously, the first thing that we're going to have to do is open up Aweber. And the usual thing that we would normally do is, if we're about to send out a live broadcast, what we do is we check the spam score. So normally what we do is we're always just head over to our drafts where we've spent all this time writing out this email thinking this, this is such great content and we're going to get so much engagement off this email, which I do all the time. And what we do is we'll quickly do, quickly do a little spam score, have a look, and take a look here and say it's good to send, which is great. Aweber's telling us that it's great to send. So normally what we do is, based off of that, schedule our broadcast and get on with our day and let our email autoresponder work on automation like it is meant to do. But a lot of the times what you'll find is you'll do these spam scores, you'll get a good score rate in, and it'll still land in the junk and promotions folder and it's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. You do all this hard work and you fight and you, you're, you're not engaging with your list. Your list is not engaging with you. Your cust These potential customers and clients are missing out on all this content that you're sharing with them because you're always landing in the junk or promotions folder. Now, another thing that you can do is, is when you do jump into like a broadcast, this is just a one that I send out to my list uh, promoting one of the products that I promote. Another thing that you can do is that you can do a preview and test. And you can send a test to uh, a preferred email address, one of your email addresses. Now, I used to do this, and I thought that if you send a test that lands in the inbox, that means that it's going to land in the inbox of everyone who's on my email list. But it turns out that I'll, I've, done, I've done a lot of digging into this, and it turns out if you preview and test, it does not it work like that. It will always, always land in your inbox. So, how do we get around it? So here's how we get around it. What we do is, so here's how here's how we get around it. So what you want to do is you want to create email accounts, right? And you want to add yourself into your list. So this is what you do. So you want to test. So I'm going to show you exactly how you do that. So what you do is you just head over to your your Gmail account, and what you do is you would just go over here, and you would 
uh, add another account. And I'm not going to go through all the process because you have to send numbers and stuff, but you get the point. You would just create a new account. So you create it for yourself and you can just use, obviously, create a new Google account and it's going to, you're going to have all your different accounts within your within your Google account that you can use and use between. So what I did is like I would use ones like Ross McFarlane testing one, two, three, four, five, or Ross McFarlane testing and random numbers. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I know that that is a unique email address and that no one, chances are one in a billion, that someone is going to sign up to your email list with that email address. And the reason that I'm doing that is I'm about to show you why. So once I've created these email addresses, probably want to create two, what you then do is you'd head off to your, um, obviously you'd sign up to your list, so you'd head, up to your, you'd head over to your landing page, sign up to your list. Once you've signed up to your list, then what you want to do is you want to go into your Aweber, of course, head over to your subscribers, and then what you want to do is, so just to summarize, up to this point, what you've done is you've created two Gmail accounts, very, very unique email addresses, and then what you want to do is you want to search for those email addresses within your list. So what you would do is you would just do, I know mine, so that's there, and then you'd search for them. And I've got three, so... That's not worked that thing there. That was really good. So, uh, da -da -da, search. And here we go here. As you can see, I've got three testing email accounts that I use. And then what you would do is, here's the little trick. So what you do is, you create the segment. So you, what you're doing is you're creating these email addresses as a segment. So when you, before you send a broadcast out to your list, you're actually sending it to these Gmail accounts. And you can even do one better is what you can do is you can do a Gmail account that you never open. So you always send it to and you never open the emails. And you can send it one, send it to one that you always open. And you can see the, the, the difference between how your, uh, how your de deliverability rate uh, differ differentiates between the two Gmail accounts. And how Gmail's like scoring your, uh, scoring your uh, website, your, your domain name that you've got using your, your Aweber account. So yeah, so I've got that here. So I've done that. So what I do is I create the segment. So I just call it testing email broad uh, email broad uh, testing broadcast email accounts. Can't talk today. And then obviously once I'd created that, I'd saved it. Then what you do is you'd head back over to your drafts, to your e to your broadcast that you've created. And then what you do is you'd want to schedule a broadcast. And then what you want to do is you want to send it only to that segment. So what you want to do is you want to send it only to that segment. So you're only sending it to those those uh, email addresses that you've created. So you click apply. Uh, so you just make sure you're sending it to the right ones. You don't want to send it out to your list. I'm going to click send message now. This will probably take a while um, because I am having issues with my internet today. So if it is taking too long, what I'll do is I'll just quickly cut until it's been sent. Finally, it's sent. That must have taken about half an hour. I'm joking aside, it only took a few minutes, but I had to cut the video. Um, in between screen recording and really bad internet, let's go and see if our <laughs> broadcast got sent to our testing email broadcast accounts. So let's go and have a quick look. So here we go here, lander in the inbox. So great, I know that's good to send. Again, lander in the inbox on the other testing account. I know that one's good to send. And again, lander in the inbox. So I know for a fact that that email that I have created there, that broadcast that I have created there, I've tested that and sent that only to my testing broadcast email accounts that I have created, which then leads me to suggest that it's going to land in the inbox and give me a much higher open rate with my list which is then going to allow my list to engage with me and I can engage with them a lot more, which is going to create more customers, more clients, and hopefully grow and scale your business. Now, I did say at the start of the video, I did have one little extra little hack if you did stick around to the end. So if you did, here it is. Uh, what I'll do is I'll leave it in the little description below is I've got a little website there that gives you all spam trigger words. Uh, for 2021 so if you go ahead in the description below click on that link that'll take you through to that website totally free just bookmark it you can run through it it just tells you all the spam trigger words that hotmail and gmail and yahoo and stuff use 
words to avoid. If you do find that you're sending emails to your test and broadcast email accounts, they keep landing in the junk and promotions folder. You can't work out why. You can kind of cross-reference if you're using words. I know words like um, make money online and financial freedom, stuff like that, they're all spam, tr spam trigger words. So if you do find that you keep landing in the junk and promotions folder, you're promoting something along those lines, then that may be why. So if you found any value from this video whatsoever, make sure to leave a little comment below. I promise I'll get back to each and every comment. If you have been using Aweber for quite a while and you're looking for a little bit some uh, looking for a little bit of tips and tricks because I have been using it for quite a while in my in my personal opinion, it is the best email software out there to use. So if you do have any questions regarding e uh, regarding Aweber, leave a little comment below and I will get back to you. And if you did like this video, make sure to smash that like button, leave a little comment, share it, and make sure to subscribe because it takes you two seconds to like. And after sending those broadcasts out, this video took nine hours to record. So I would really, really appreciate that. It really helps up the channel. Thanks very much. And I'll catch you in the next video.